The treatment of an enterospondylolisthesis on a segmental table like this one. Great treatment works very well. So what type of equipment do we need? We need a table with a firm cover. Uh, you cannot have a table too mushy. You have the ability of that table to have a drop. And here we have a drop, you can kid it. You can see that. And uh, we uh, need a big square or we need kind of a foam uh, here and for the patient's feet so her leg will be at 90 degrees. So we are at patient position and the patient, as you can see, is supine. The iliac crest are placed basically off the table on the bolster and the patient hip or knee are gently bent for that table. The patient head has been raised. So we have a tension all the way down to the lumbar and the lumbar spine has been flattened slightly and our iliac cleft are off the, 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 body, the pelvic part. So what we will do basically, we're going to ask the patient to raise her pelvis, raise her pelvis and to drop it. And when she drops it, it will trigger the drop and it will create that corrective motion that we want. Go ahead. Up, drop. And we can put, use that protocol around 10 times. Now, the key here is to have the hip of the patient, the, basically the, AS, uh, the PSIS, right on the bolster. And I can pull her up a little bit this way, and we have a better effect this way. Now, if you have an automatic drop, it's, and we're going to put that drop on automatic. So there is a self-tuning effect of that drop. We're going to just tighten a little bit that drop. And now she can do that corrective move by herself. So you're going to bring your pelvis up, drop it, a little harder. So if we have an automatic drop, like we do have on this table, we're going to select auto, and now we're going to ask the patient to, on her own, bring her pelvis up and drop it. Drop it. And she can do it on her own. All right? So go ahead, raise it up, drop it. Very good. It will be basically self-corrective for the patient. And the advantage of that is you don't have to intervene. <clears throat> the biomechanical explanation behind that. Notice that she had a head bend. So we have created a tension all the way down up to her lumbar. And basically, by having her leg bend like that, she has created, we have created a nutation of the pelvis. And as she brings her pelvis up and drop it down, when the PSIS touch the pillow, basically create a shearing action at that level, and it has a corrective effect on a spondylolisthesis. Now you will not see a change on an X-ray, I have to precise that. Um, spondylolisthesis, basically we are treating mostly the pain side of the spondylolisthesis, but it's not a corrective effect for the vertebral displacement. We may have some change, but very little. It's pain control approach for the spondylolisthesis, extremely effective.